Greetings Exiles, Age of War is here and the drums of war are pounding at our doorstep. With the coming of this new age, we've added new features to Conan Exiles and made some changes to the overall gameplay. Let's dive right into it and take a look at these new additions. The dominant powers in the world of Conan Exiles are closely tied to your riches, especially now more than ever. There's a war in the horizon and your riches will help you prepare for what's coming. With the new clan horde system, you will be able to go out into the world and look for treasures. They're in different sizes and values, and they can be found in various locations and gathered from multiple sources. You can find them laying amidst an ancient rubble, inside an old chest, or you can loot them from the lifeless bodies of your enemies. Treasure is out there, and it's up to you to find them. After you find them, you will then have to bring them back to your base, into your new treasure room. You are able to decorate this room with shiny new riches and gold piles. But be careful, while you are carrying these bigger hordes back to your base, you will face danger. Sometimes it will be the wilderness you will face and sometimes it will be other treasure hunters in the world. Tread carefully and protect what's yours. While being resourceful is always a good thing, there will be a practical reason to use your clan horde in what's to come. We will share more on this later as the ever-changing powers and the battleground takes shape. Lastly, if you like to conquer the exile lands by yourself, no worries, as you can do all this by yourself if you so wish to, without the need of a clan. If you'd like to get a detailed, more comprehensive look into this system, feel free to check out the guide made by Pixel Cave. You can find a link to it in the description. Another new addition coming with Age of War are the clan emblems. We know clans are a crucial part of Conan Exiles, and with this new feature you will be able to create an emblem for your clan and customize it with a wide variety of different symbols, backgrounds and colors. You can then display this emblem on armor, shields, banners and more. In addition to these new features, we've also made some balance changes in the overall gameplay, particularly focused on combat. The world of Conan Exiles is a merciless one and we wanted to reflect this feeling through the way how enemy encounters work. Stamina changes, weapon repairs, AI improvements, these are all aimed at making the combat feel more visceral, challenging and meaningful. While some of these changes are rather situational, others will be more significant in moment-to-moment -moment combat. If you'd like to get a detailed explanation of these changes and the reasoning behind them, check out the link in the description for a new blog post from our lead designer. But that's not all. While sure, we have new features and changes to Conan Exiles, we also have a brand new chapter in the overall lore for you lore masters out there. As with all of them, you are going to be in the middle of this new chapter and shape your exile story with complete freedom. If you'd like to have a glimpse into the story of chapter 1, check out Eradication's new video about the upcoming war. You can find a link to it in the description below. And with that, we welcome you to a new age in Conan Exiles, the Age of War. See you at the battleground, Exiles.